one. I got a 2009 Volvo 780 with a Cummins i6 and I'm trying to replace the stepper motor on my speedometer. The speedometer was uh, having issues. I'm driving about eh, maybe 70 miles an hour. It shows I'm driving only 55. So the stepper motor is a, uh, I'll show you right here. It's that piece right here that we need to replace on the speedometer. I looked up a lot of videos, there's nothing about semi trucks, everything is about pickup trucks and this and that, but I think it's the same principle, so I will try to see if I can show you guys how to replace those. That's that's the model I have on my gauge, uh, and uh, there's different types, I think one or two different other types that are, but uh, I will show you how to do that. It's simple, minor like a snap-in thing, you don't need to solder anything, just easy to, you know, fix them. So what you're gonna do, let me switch down to the uh, uh, to the dash. So what I did, you know, I uh, removed, I mean, you gotta pull the dash out of the, the whole thing, you know. Inside there's a few screws, you gotta take off on the back of the thing and you pull the whole, you know, cluster out, you know. So once you pull the cluster, you need to mark tape, you know. You gotta put a tape, you know, and mark the needles when the truck is shut off completely to the zero position, you know. The old uh, needles, whatever, you know, they're at zero position, put a tape and mark them up with a little pen, you know. Uh, they see a mark, when you take them off, you can put them back at the same spot. So it'd be nice and perfect aligned, okay? So this is what's going on. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to remove those needles. Use a fork. You stick the fork underneath very gently and just prime it up. Just very gently kind of pop them up. There you go, and they pop out. So make sure you know you organize your needles the way you have them on the dash. I'm gonna put them right here just uh, so you know which needle where it came from. And then you pop the other one out. Get the fork, just very gently prime it up. Pop it out, put it out there on the, on the table. Uh, so now, everything is off. The needles are off and everything. There's two clips on the back. It's right around here, one right here. Pop those out. Let me get that. And there's two on the back, you know, two. Get those out. And then very gently pick it up the whole thing. And you got the top cover off right there. Put that on the side. So what you're looking at is the circuit board inside. Okay, that's what he, we're looking at. Now, those are the pieces we're replacing, the white pieces. Uh, I bought some parts from China and they're brand new and they suck. Everything is, they, I mean, brand new parts, they don't work. Everything's stuck. And so we're gonna, how we're gonna replace those, there is a little on the inside over here. That's why we have to take the, the cover, you know. There's those pins right here. You can see the pins right here. There's a little pin inside, you have to push it back, you know. You have to push it down in order to unlock that, uh, you know, the gate, I mean the, uh, whatever that thing is called. <laughs> I forget. So let me show you, uh, I use like a little, you know, just little, punch it whatever and then you get in and then push that that inside the little circle right there just push it in and you see how it pops in so we'll get another one the other one too push it in okay so that releases the thing. so what you do you just just with your nail kind of push it up a little bit and it should pop out yeah, hold on, I'm gonna push a little more. So I gotta make sure it's it's pushed in good in order to get it released. Those are old, so they kind of a little stuck. Okay, so they should be able to pop pop. There you go, one popped out, and then just with the nail a little bit pushed in, and uh, there you go, the other one popped out. So now very gently remove it, and. Uh, stepper motor right there okay this is the old one uh, so what you do you 
lets you hold right there you can see where it stays now you cannot get this wrong because there is a little tap over here uh, I don't know if you can see it yeah right there the little tap you know you cannot put those wrong you know they go only one way so what simply you do you slide it inside get the new one I'll find that hole right there and then snap it in Okay, it snaps in now. On the back, you know, there's holes, you know. I use a little, just metal wire, a little bit hard wire, and there's those little holes, you know, where you have to put, put it in, and press, you know, push it in, but hold your finger on the other side so the pin doesn't come out all the way out. Just hold your finger right there, push it until the pin comes out and you can fill it in your thumb and then that locks up the, the stepper motor. The same situation on the other side, those two holes, you gotta push those pins in. And then, that is it. Once you push it in, the stepper motor is replaced. Now, you gotta make sure, you know, now when you put it on, you know, what you do, you put that down, put your cover in, yeah. And then uh, once the cover is in, you can lock it in. Just snaps in each corner. And then what you do, you put your pointers. So now what I suggest to do is put them like on a 12 mark position. And then once you put them on the 12, you know, just that's the 12 mark right there on each one. Just gently rotate them back until you hit that mark, you know. Until you hit the mark. Once you hit the mark, you stop. That's your thing is aligned right now. Now, if do not go, you know, the way the gauge is going because it, this, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna align properly. It have to go backwards to clockwise. So, so what you do, and now, and let's say you missed the mark, you know, you pass the mark accidentally, just go all the way around, you know, go backwards until you hit back to the thing. So, and that's how your line engages. Then once you're done, you know, go to your truck, hook it before, you know, you put everything on the top, hook it up very gently, and turn the key off. Turn it on and see once you turn it off, all the gauges should line up with your mark markers, marker lines that you put on the taping. And you know your gauges should work properly. So that's how you do it, you know. And uh, I'm frustrated now because I had a, uh, uh, I ordered some new gauges from the, uh, apparently China. It took me two weeks, three weeks to get it in almost a month. And they're, they're not even working brand new, you know, uh, stepper gauges. The way you can tell if it works or not, if you grab a plier and grab that piece right here, right right above the metal, you know, you know, you should be able to freely, you know, turn this, you know, all the way to the end, and there should be a stop, you know. This cannot go completely, just keep going. If you keep going, you don't feel that stop, that means it's, it, it's not turning inside, you're turning the needle, you know. So, uh, so what you do, you get that, and then uh, just turn it up until you feel the stop. Turn it the other way, if as long as uh, you know works free, and you feel that little end thing where it stops, that means it works good. And then when you go to your truck, you know go to the test mode, test your gauges, and uh, on the dash, you know there's an option you can test your gauges. If you test your gauges, you'll see they go all the way up and down. If they go free, they're not sticking or something. I mean they're working fine. So. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I have to get it done and put it in my truck, so I need to go to work. All right, guys, have a good one.